Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Hi folks, I'm I'm making a slight adjustment to my route. Uh, rather than carrying on the Pelline Way to Kirkyellen, I'm walking on a old uh, driver's road, I believe it is, uh, to Kirkyellen. It's slightly faster, probably slightly, easy, probably a bit easier as well because it's downhill, mostly. I hope. Um, few reasons really. Um, one, I've got no food left, absolutely starving. I've had hardly anything to eat thanks to uh, Bioness that didn't have any food whatsoever. Uh, the campsite was nice but I can't understand why a campsite that caters for hikers in a place that doesn't sell food doesn't sell food. You know normally these sort of campsites do so that's a bit weird. Um, and I have got to be back to Berwick on Tweed early in the morning for the 26th. So, I've, so I'm taking a bit. Uh, I, I'm hoping it's a shortcut to Kirk Yenham. So I'm missing a bit of the border along there, but I'm still walking close to the border. It's an incredible hike, actually. This road. Yeah, I don't think I've been on this road. I'm not sure. If I did this when I did John O'Groats Land's End or I carried on to Kirk Yenham, I'm not sure. But I definitely have done the official Pennine Way path on its own. I've done the hike on its own and I did a lot of it again on the end to end trail. But I'm not sure if, yeah, like I said, I walked this on the John O'Groats end to end trail. This bit. I have to say, the uh, Cheviots are stunning. Pretty shit in bad weather, but I believe the three times, this is my third time I've been up here, I've had good weather. A, this was the windiest time, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, both times, all the times I've been up here have been good.
Okay folks, just left uh, Kurt Yenham back on road walking heading towards Cold Stream. I'm going to do another route alteration because otherwise I'm not going to make it to the end of the uh, border but it doesn't really alleviate away from the actual border itself um, and it has saved me quite a lot of miles um, but I, I, as I wanted I've, I've walked, it's a coast to coast essentially walking as close to the border as I can which I have done uh, with the time limit I've got and uh, yeah I'm happy with that Out. Old spooky graveyard. So it's been disused for a long time. Folks, I'm really pleased you're enjoying my videos and taking your time to watch them. Do please check out the video description for extra information and all the gear I used in this video.